Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews A.ca. This is Monty the Ho from Mobile Reviews A.ca. And today I'm gonna tell you four things that will help you get rid of the uh, spam calendar invites that uh, we've all started to get because spammers are so cool. And smart, really, because they just find the most annoying ways to annoy you. I'm gonna show you how to prevent future invites by adjusting your iCloud settings, uh, removing the existing spam invites in your calendar, and a couple of other things that might help deal with this annoyance. So the spamming phenomenon, we'll say, has only started about three weeks ago, and these things just started popping up. And initially, I thought it was uh, iOS or my Mac kind of scraping all my emails and just pulling up invitations. And initially, I thought, this is stupid. I couldn't find those emails, and then I realized that the spammers are actually just going to calendar, dumping as many emails as they possibly can into the add invitees section and just sending that invitation. And it's kind of smart that they figure that out, but incredibly annoying. And spam to me is on the same level as, you know, pop-up windows that have close buttons that don't actually work, like you would sometimes find on bonappetit.com, as well as, you know, all that related content crap at the bottom of, uh, you know, notable news sites like Mashable. Like, why the hell would I want to stare at Kim Kardashian after reading an article about how Apple has released a new initiative to help young people code. It just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So how to deal with spam calendar invites. The first thing you should do is never visit any of the websites that these spammers give you. Do not give them the satisfaction of uh, thinking that their stuff actually works. Uh, even though it says Louis Vuitton stuff is really cheap, just, just, just don't do it. The second best thing you can do is log into your iCloud account through the web, go to the calendars, uh, go to the calendar settings in the bottom left corner, Click advanced and check email to your account. Now this should force all your invitations to be sent to your email client rather than straight to your calendar. So the spam filter should be able to filter them out. The third thing you can do is if you have a deluge of spam invitations sitting in your calendar, you can delete them by right clicking. But, but, but do not do this if this is the first time you're doing so because deleting this event will actually notify the sender that you exist, which means they'll share your email with their spam buddies. Now, if you've already done this or you've declined it, I I don't think it really matters because you're on their list anyways. The best way to get rid of the spam invites in a relatively stealthy manner is to go to your calendar app, press calendar at the bottom of your screen, edit, and add a new calendar. I call it spam, you can call it whatever you want. Now once you do that, you can change the calendar for that spam event to the, to the spam calendar that you just created. Once you've added all the appointments that you want to delete, you could just nuke the entire calendar outright. Now, unlike going to the calendar and right clicking and saying delete, now, it doesn't actually tell you that the uh, sender is being notified that you're deleting it. So it's, I'm assuming it's a little more stealthy. I do not know this for sure because I do not know any spammers that I can talk to. I will note that this works much quicker on my iOS devices than on the calendar in iCloud.com as well as on my Mac. Now, if you've actually already declined the events and broadcasted your resistance to every spammer in the world, you can actually hide the declined events. You can go to your calendars, and this is kind of a band-aid thing. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and uh, toggle show declined events. And so this will hide all the declined events uh, that you have declined from these spammers, but it declines all your events. So if you're a business person, I know when I was working in an office, it was always kind of nice to see that I didn't want to go to this meeting. Um, so if you've got lots of those, then this might not work for, that Band-Aid solution might not work for you. The last thing that I would actually suggest you do if you really want to take control of your calendar is to turn off the ability for, the, uh, for any apps to kind of put invitations into your calendar. Uh, you go to the settings on your device, go to calendar, and at the bottom, toggle events found in apps. So basically this gives you 100% control of your calendar. Uh, if you were to uh, toggle this off. So those are all the tips and tricks I have in terms of dealing with the uh, spam invitations that we're starting to see. I will say that every one of these is a Band-Aid solution. I really hope that Apple addresses the solution very quickly with a patch or something, something to say ignore it, something to just, you know, mark a spam in the calendar. I don't know, just something to deal with this problem because I do believe that this is gonna be, this is gonna get worse over time. Uh, so, if I'm missing anything, uh, do let me know in the comments section below. I'd uh, like to know if I am missing anything so I can make what I deal with or make these videos a little better. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below or you can find me on Google Plus Twitter as well as Facebook. Um, I'm Aaron the Ho, this is Monty the Ho, and that's kind of all we got. Thanks for watching.